Mark Hughes received the pre-Christmas gift he wanted as his team ended a run of three straight defeats by eking out a nervy but deserved win. First half goals by Joe Allen and Eric Shipomoting, and a late third by Ramadan Sobhai, banished, temporarily at least, the prospect of the sack for a manager who hopes this timely result is the start of a revival. Hughes thanked his chairman, Peter Coates, after the victory for not bowing to pressure to fire him following a poor run of form. Coates instead visited the club's training ground to encourage the manager and staff before this critical showdown. I didn't really have any doubts about it but I'm even more confident after this week, said Hughes. I'm really proud of everybody connected to Stoke, the players, the staff within the club and the ownership. The chairman has been absolutely fantastic. He's been in reassuring everybody, saying it's business as usual. If they think they have the right people, then they back you. That's what they've done this week and it's been really important for everybody. I like to think we've repaid them to some extent but it's about the end of the season and making sure we give them what they want and deserve as owners because they're top drawer. Goodness knows, meanwhile, what the owners of West Brom have made of Alan Pardew's first five matches in charge. Albion were just above the relegation zone when they sacked Tony Pulley's last month but have since sunk deeper into trouble, second from bottom of the league and winless since August. Hughes had aired slightly dubious grievances about recent results not being an accurate reflection of his team's performances but here the final score was a fair indication of the play. The first half was one of Stockas' most coherent displays of the season and vindication for some bold decisions by the manager after a spate of injuries, especially the deployment of 18-year-old Tom Edwards at right back which allowed Jeff Cameron to serve as a midfield sentinel, protecting a defence that featured Kevin Wimmer at left back. Allen was assigned an advanced midfield role and justified that decision by opening the scoring in the 19th minute. The goal came courtesy of a smidgen of luck as a shot by Chupo Moding took a deflection off Ahmed Hegazi and fell into the path of Peter Crouch, who smashed the ball across the face of goal. Allen darted in front of Alan Nyon to claim his first Premier League goal for 10 months. There was renewed pep to stock as play but they needed Jack Butland to make a superb save in the 21st minute, the goalkeeper flinging himself low to his left to tip away a shot by Salomon Rondon. That chance was created by James McLean, who had a poor game otherwise, subdued by Edwards before being replaced at half-time by Nasser Chadley. West Brom were two goals in arrears by then with Allen playing a key role in stock as second. The Welshman outmuscled Gareth Barry with an ease that embarrassed the veteran and then nudged the ball onto Chippo Moting, who sidestepped Ben Foster and fired between Hegazi and Nyam and into the net. Stock as play was not free of scruffiness Darren Fletcher's touch was clunky, for instance but things looked rosy for them at the interval, nonetheless.